Hi, my name is Dr. Mike and I'm a medical doctor. Today I'm tackling one of the most common but misunderstood topics in fitness, glycogen. What it is, why it is essential for exercise and how you can use it to your advantage to speed up recovery and build quality muscle. Let's talk about the basics. When you consume carbohydrates, your body converts them into glucose, aka sugar. Once glucose enters the cell, it is converted into glycogen. Glycogen is a storage form of glucose in the body. While most glycogen is stored in your liver and muscles, small amounts exist in other tissues like the brain and kidneys. The biggest difference is that glycogen in your muscles can only be used by the muscle itself during exercise, whereas the liver can release its glycogen to maintain stable blood sugar levels throughout the body. During physical exercise, your muscles use their glycogen stores as fuel to keep you going. That means afterwards they can be quite empty. How empty, you might ask? Let's say as empty as Kevin's chili pot. Kevin's famous chili. It's about this stuff. It's probably the thing I do best. That was disgusting. I wonder if anybody still had that chili. Actually, the question is difficult to answer, as it depends on many factors such as your physical fitness, whether you had exercised the days before, how hard you worked out and whether it was aerobic or anaerobic exercise. Low glycogen stores are one of the main reasons you may feel fatigue, experience lower performance and see a drop in your workout quality after a tough session. This is why after working out you should have a carb-rich meal to fill up your body's glycogen stores. So, if you're one of those people who say, eh, I don't really feel like eating after a workout, well, that's fine. But in that case, you have to accept that your recovery will be suboptimal. Your muscles won't grow as efficiently as they could, and you might feel fatigued the next day. In fact, skipping a post-workout meal will not only slow down recovery, but also increase muscle soreness. This is why in a gym you see people who, months after months of working out, still look the same and people laugh at you and you say that you just want to tone and not gain muscle. Working out is the smaller part of the equation to a healthier and better looking body. The most important part is your diet. You may wonder how long does it take for your muscles to fill up the depleted glycogen stores? The answer is anywhere from 24 to 48 hours which is longer than you might have anticipated. So, how do professional athletes who exercise two to three times a day do it? These guys often do multiple sessions because not all workouts require fully topped up glycogen stores. Some workouts are skill or technique based, meaning lower intensity. However, they usually have a whole team of experts recommending when to take in which meal and which ingredients. Everything is planned out beforehand. In order for athletes to achieve the highest echelon of the sport, every day of the week looks the same. Like my time in prison. I'm prison Mike! Training with partially depleted glycogen can also teach your body to become more efficient at using fat for fuel and storing glycogen in the future. Now, you may want to be a smart ass like me and say, what if I exercise in the evening and consume my post-workout meal before the workout? Will I, still need to, will I still need to eat a post-workout meal? You may argue that you already consumed the necessary calories for the day. And the answer is yes. Making your post-workout meal your pre-workout meal will still slow down recovery. And actually, I was lying. You not only need carbohydrates after a workout, but also some protein. Why? Because most exercise causes microscopic damage to your muscle tissue, which needs repair. This is improved by giving the body protein after a workout. Plus, it will stimulate muscle protein synthesis, helping your muscles grow. Another benefit of having carbohydrates after a workout is that your body is more insulin sensitive. To allow the digested carbs to enter the cell to form glycogen, your body needs insulin, which is produced in the pancreas. The process is more efficient after a workout. Oh, you're asking how much carbs and protein post-workout? I gotcha. 
Aim for roughly 0.5 to 0.8 grams of carbs and 0.3 to 0.5 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight. I weigh around 80 kilograms or around 176 pounds, so I eat around 50 grams of carbs and 24 grams of protein after a workout. When I was younger, everybody thought it was a magical 30 minute workout window, after which you needed to consume your post-workout meal. Otherwise, you will fall over and die. Luckily, modern science has found out that this so-called anabolic window isn't as strict as we once thought. Eating a post-workout meal within a few hours is totally fine. What about fats, you might ask? Fats aren't the primary focus immediately after a tough workout because they can't replenish glycogen stores. Including small amounts of fats in your post-workout meal won't harm your recovery though. So, what would be a good post-workout meal or shake? I like mixing a scoop of whey protein with a banana and some oatmeal. Remember, have your post-workout meal or shake every time you exercise or the magical muscle fairy will come and steal some of your gains. Till the next time.